Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kahoob here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to verify Sparrow Wallet with its new download verification dialog tool. So this way of verifying will work if you have already updated Sparrow to 1.8.3 or any future releases. Something that is very important to keep in mind here though is that if you have never installed Sparrow Wallet before and you decide to install it, then use this method. It would actually give you a false sense of security because what you would be doing is using the downloaded Sparrow Wallet to verify that the Sparrow Wallet you just downloaded is legit. Which basically means if Sparrow was compromised by hackers and you verified it this way, well of course it's going to tell you it's legit. It obviously would not tell you um, that it's unverified. So what this means is that this new easy way of verifying Sparrow Wallet only works correctly if you have verified Sparrow the correct way the first time. Since if you verified your Sparrow Wallet the right way, and you're on release 1.8.3 or higher, then you know your software is legit, so you know it's safe to use to verify future releases. So if you have never verified Sparrow Wallet before, then what you will need to do is uh, go use your command line, but I'll link my previous video down in the description as well as the comment section, so you can go watch that to verify Sparrow the correct way. And then whenever a new release comes out, you can come watch this video to see how you can do it for future releases. Personally, I don't know if I like this feature or not of Sparrow as I assumed at first when it came out that I could just use the newly downloaded Sparrow Wallet to verify that download in itself, which obviously wouldn't work. Uh, and as I said before, it would just give a false sense of security. And let me show you what video I'm talking about. So it would be my How to Verify Sparrow Wallet Bitcoin for Beginners Part 6. This is what you'll want to watch if you've never verified your Sparrow Wallet before or if you've never downloaded Sparrow Wallet before. So either or. Um, the video that I'm making now right here, uh, this only will work, as I said, if you verified it the correct way. So this is how to verify future releases after you've done it the right way. Um, and as I said, if you uh, don't go watch my previous video or don't verify that way and just do, th do it this way, it's actually pointless. So you might as well not do it because all it does is give you a false sense of security. Anyways, let's get into how to do it for future releases. As someone as like me, I've already verified my Sparrow Wallet, so I can now use their updated uh, feature of um, verification that makes it way simpler now that I know the Sparrow Wallet I have on my computer is legit. So what you'll need now, uh, it'll tell you down here too. So what you'll need is the manifest signature, the manifest, and your install file from the list above. So right up here on the Sparrow desktop, so I would download the manifest, manifest signature. And then I am downloading the Windows installer 10 plus for Sparrow 1.9.0.exe, so not the zip. So now I have my three files, my download for my computer as I use Windows, and then the manifest and manifest signature, I have all three downloaded. So now what you'll want to do, if you already have 1.8.3 above on of your Sparrow wallet and you have it, um, and you already verified it the right way, then this is the next step so you'll do to verify these future releases as I'm doing now. As you can see in the bottom right, my says Sparrow 1.9.0 is available. So um, I do need to update or I want to update. You don't need to update, by the way. Updating doesn't necessarily mean uh, more security or anything. In fact, maybe they did so many new changes and added things that bring in security risks. So it's just uh, good to check what they added and all that. Um, but anyways, uh, the next steps you'll do after you download all three to the same folder, um, you can just drag and drop it over like this. Um, so I'm grabbing it from the folder I have it downloaded in. This is my Sphera 1.9.0.exe and just anywhere over here. And once you drag and drop it over your spare wallet, you'll see it says verified download. Um, I'm just covering my personal information because the location it's installed on my computer re reveals some personal information. But anyways, uh, this says verified download, download the release file, GPG signature, and optional manifest of a project to verify the download integrity. As you can see, the results of all three that I downloaded, it made sure to check all three that I have, the signature, the manifest, as, and um, also the download obviously. And so you can see the results. It's signed by Craig Ross, Fair Wallet. So that's checkmarked, release hash, matched uh, manifest hash, which is good. And it's verified, it's ready to install. So now I can click this and install it. By the way, here's what it looks like on the left. The signature, the manifest, the public key, and the release file. And now it'll ask, it'll say exit Sparrow question mark. Sparrow must be closed before installation. Exit, so then you say yes. 
All right, and now we can see right here if you go to help about Sparrow. After you clicked run, it'll ask you if you want to run the program after that step, but I just didn't show that. But um, yeah, then it'll show Sparrow it's updated. So it's as easy as that to verify now. But as I said, you have to make sure you verify it the correct way the first time. It's very tempting to do it this way. But the problem is you're not even verifying anything at that point. Like it's pointless. Uh, in fact, it would do more harm than good, if anything. Uh, so yeah, but that's how you update future releases after you've done it the correct way. So as I said, I'll say it one more time, go watch my previous video. I'll link it down in the description as well as the comment section of how to verify Sparrow Wallet the correct way. And then after you've done it that way, you only have to worry about it once really, unless you prefer doing it that way. But um, after you've done it that way and you verified your Sparrow, you can do it this way every single time from there on out if you want. It's really up to you and how you want to do that. But um, yeah, so that's how you verify Sparrow Wallet now with the, their new added feature. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more future content like this, and I'll see you all in the next one.